एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्वयं ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन द टॉपिक डेटा बेस मैनेज सिस्टम आई एम मोहम्मद उबैदुल्ला बुखारी वर्किंग एज ए प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एट ए एम यू अलीगढ़ टूडे वी आर गोइंग इन टू सम कंसेप्ट नेटवर्क डेटा मॉडल एंड आई डी एम एस सिस्टम्स हरर केयर एंड डेटा मॉडल एज वेल एज आई एम एस सिस्टम इन डेटा बेस गेट रेडी टू अंडरस्टैंड द कम्प्लेक्स कंसेप्ट टू इन्हांस योर डेटा बेस स्किल विथ मी इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट इन विच वी हैव गॉन थ्रू अ रिलेशनल डेटा बेस मैन सिस्टम कन्वेंशनल डेटा मॉडल नॉन कन्वेंशनल मॉडलिंग so let us start the agenda of today's lecture as we will going to discuss network data model rdms systems hierarchy data model and the last is ims system before proceeding with today's agenda i would like to discuss some questions that i had given you in the last class the first question was explain the concept of stored procedure in sql how does it differ from its function the answer is a stored procedure in sql is a powerful tool that allows user to encapsulate a set of sql statements into a reusable unit it is stored in database itself enabling dynamic behavior based on user input and other variables one key difference between a stored procedure and a function is their intended use and capabilities while both can contain logic and can be called from sql statements a stored procedure is primarily used for performing task and operations such as updating data executing complex queries or performing administrative task The next question was explain the concept of a stored procedure in SQL how does it differ from a function The conventional data model used in relational database management system is known as relational model it organizes data into tables where each table represent a specific entity or concepts the main components of this model are table these are the fundamental structures in the relational model representing entities such as customers orders products etc each table consists of rows and columns where each row represents a single record and each column represents an attribute to the entity column columns define the attributes or properties of the entities represented by the table each column has name and a data type specifying the kind of data it can store for example integer a string and date what are the common example of object oriented database management system in what scenario they are typically used The answer is object oriented database management systems are databases that support the storage retrieval and management of data in an object oriented paradigm some common example of object oriented database management system includes db4o object store version object database and object db oodbms are typically used in scenario where complex data structures and relationships are prevalent such as in object oriented software development and applications with intricate data models they excel in environments where data is naturally modeled as objects 
with behavior and relationships, such as in application involving multimedia, CAD CAM, scientific modeling, and engineering simulations. The last question was describe the key components of a relational database management system. How does a relational database management system organize data? In relational database management system, consist of several RDBMS consist of several key components that work together to organize and manage the data efficiency. Tables are the basic building blocks of RDBMS representing entities or concepts. Each table consists of rows and columns, with each row representing a single record and each column representing attributes of the entity. Keys Keys are used to uniquely identify rows within table. Primary key uniquely identify each record in the table, while foreign key establish a relationship between tables by referencing the primary key of another table. Constraints. Constraints are rules defined on the data in the tables to enforce data integrity and, man and maintain. Consistency and maintain consistency. Common types of constraints include primary key constraints, foreign key constraints, unique constraints, and check constraints. The network data model provides a powerful approach to managing complex relationships within databases. By understanding their principles, mechanics, and design consideration, user can leverage these models to organize and analyze data for and analyze data more effectively. Network data models are a sophisticated model. Network data models are sophisticated method for organizing and managing intricate relationships between different entities within a data set. Unlike traditional data models that primarily focus on the data itself, network data models prioritize the representation of these relationships, which can often be as a crucial, if not more so, than the data itself. In certain contexts, such as social network, or supply chain management, understanding the nonsense connections between the entities in Paramount, discuss advantage of network model. This model is very simple and easy to design like hierarchy data model. This model is capable of handling multiple types of relationship which can help in modeling real-life applications, for example, one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-many relationship. In this model, we can access the data easily and also there is a chance that the application can access the owners and the members record within a set. This, not, this network does not allow a member to exist without an owner which leads to the concept of data integrity. Like hierarchy model, this model also does not have any database standard. Now let me discuss some of the disadvantages also. The schema or the structure of this schema, The schema or the structure of this database is very complex in nature as all the records are maintained by the use of pointer. There is the existence of operational anomalies as there is the use of pointer for navigation which further leads to complex implementation. The design or the structure of this model is not user friendly. 
This model does not have any scope of automated query optimization. The last disadvantage is this model fails in achieving structural independence even though the network database model is capable of achieving data independence. An integrated database management system is a robust database management system tailored for efficiently handling a large scale databases renowned for its hierarchy of database model IDMS find applications across diverse sectors including banking telecommunications and government system let's delve in to its key features and components integrated database management system is a robust database management system renowned for efficiently handling large scale databases it is characterized by its hierarchy database model and has found applications across various industries including banking telecommunications and government systems idms organizes data in a hierarchy structure like a tree with the records forming parent child relationship each record is a part of a set defining relationships and facilitating efficient data management idms is known as idms is known for its reliability scalability and effectiveness in managing complex data sets hierarchy database model IDMS organizes a data in hierarchical structure similar to a tree records are organized in parent child relationship forming a hierarchy of data records and sets the basic units of data storage in IDMS is a record which is equivalent to a row in relational databases records are organized into sets defining the relationship between records each set has a parent record and one or more child records a schema and sub schema database schema defines the overall structure of the database including records sets and relationships sub schema allows the definition of logical view of a database for a specific application programs or user data language one idms uses a query language called dl1 for interacting with the databases dl1 statements are used to navigate through the hierarchy structure and perform operation such as retrieval and update of records batch and online processing idms supports both batch and online processing batch processing involves the execution of programs that interacts with the databases without user interaction while online processing allows user to interact with the system in real time in real time information management system stands as a, a stalwart in the realm of database management system why not by IBM originally developed by IBM IMS has evolved over the years embracing new programming tools and environments to adapt to changing technological landscapes this adaptability has positioned IMS as a cost effective solution for managing and disseminating data efficiently operating as a major legacy database and transaction manager subsequent on the zos mainframe operating system on the zos mainframe operating system ims serves as a cornerstone for storage organization 
and retrieval of data. Its robust capabilities find application across diverse vertical market spanning banking, finance, health, government, retail and manufacturing sectors with its enduring reliability and versatility. IMS continues to play a vital role in the modern database management system landscape. In modern data management landscape, meeting the evolving needs of business and industry worldwide. IMS, or you can say information management system, comprises two primary components, IMS database manager, we can say IMS DB, and IMS transaction manager, we can say IMS TM. IMS DB implies a hierarchical structure to organize data where each level depends on the data in the next higher level. This hierarchical arrangement ensures data integrity and optimizes the storage and retrieval process. Additionally, IMS DB offers a pricing option known as value unit addition which entails a one-time charge for eligible workload used for virtualization and management purposes. On the other hand, IMSTM is responsible for controlling input-output processing, providing message, formatting, logging and recovery. Following our discussion on network data model, and IDMS system, hierarchy and data model, as we as IMS system, I have prepared some straightforward questions for a home assignment related to today's lecture. These questions are designed to help solidify your understanding of the core concepts discussed in the lecture. The first question is, what are the two major components of IMS? What is data organized in IMS database manager? What is the purpose of IMS transaction manager? What is the IMS DB value unit addition? And how does it differ from a standard pricing? As we wrap up today's sessions, I trust that the discussion on network data model and IDMS system, hierarchy and data model, as well as IMS system, have equipped you with the available insights and practical skills, application to your database management system. Thank you once more for your active participation, and we eagerly anticipate your presence in our upcoming session. Wishing you a wonderful day ahead. Thank you.